What's up everybody PC Mentor is here. In this video I'm going to show you how we can get rid of this problem ISO image extraction failure. So as you can see here I am going to open the robots and here we go. Now I am selecting an ISO image. In this case I am selecting Windows 8.1. Now I am going to start it. Click OK. Now here as you can see we come across with this error message ISO image extraction failure. So what we have to do simply I will show you everything in this video. Just follow me after this short intro. Welcome back. Now open your browser and uh, search for the Rupus and click on this website. I have given link in the description as well. Once you are here, scroll down and here we go. So now we have to download the latest version of the Rupus that is 3.1. Once the download is started, now open the Rupus. Yes, and here we go. So now the interface is little bit changed. Select uh, an ISO image. And uh, click on the start. Okay. So now as you can see the USB is booting and uh, there is no such error. Now all the files uh, are being copied to the USB. So in this way you can boot your USB and uh, fix that problem. Now I am going to demonstrate the second alternative how we can boot the USB pen drive. So for this search for the Yumi and here we go. Once you are here scroll down. and download Yumi UEF I download and uh, change log so here you have to download this this one once downloading is completed now launch it agree create so here you have to select your USB pen drive so in this case I am selecting F that is my USB and on the right side uh, there are format options you can select uh, whether FAT32 or NTFS the next uh, step you must have to do to select uh, the distribution that you want to put on the F so in this case I am booting the USB with the Windows. The last step you must have to select an ISO image for this. I'm selecting this ISO image. Once you have done these steps and click yes. So now it a pop up message up warning. So before proceeding this step make sure to back up your important files from the your USB and click yes. So in this way you can boot your USB as well. 